say. Oh hey, yeah, yeah. I'm looking the That's Greek God, God awesome. program I wish I could uh, spin off. Well, guess what? You can't. You just probably never knew how. After working with thousands of people, my partner Greg and I realized that most people want a physique that fits one of these three categories: warrior, Greek God, or superhero. The warrior physique is where you are exceptionally lean and ripped, but you still look slim in clothes. This is the look Henry Cavill had in Immortals, or Cam Gigante in Never Back Down. Then we have the Greek God physique. This is where you have a perfect balance of size and definition, and you definitely stand out in clothes. This is the look Brad Pitt had in Troy, or Daniel Craig in Casino Royale. And the final step, the superhero physique. At this level, your physique is just astonishing. You probably couldn't find another man within a mile from where you live that achieved such an advanced level of fitness. Examples for this physique are Chris Hemsworth in Thor and Chris Evans in Captain America. Oh hey, Tane here. Welcome to another episode of Getting Lean in 10 Weeks, and this is week four. Well, that before was the spin-off and definition of the Greek God. In case you, you fans are wondering what the Greek God ever is. So yeah, enjoy my video. Okay, fasting in the morning allows the body to reach the fat source and cleanse the organism. In this time period, our body burns fat in the most efficient way. Wow, look at that big ass meal, man. Some soaps of carbs. Man, can't wait to dig in it. <laughs> now I wanted to show something different. I wanted to show you one of my non-training days. In order to not lose the pump, I still visit the gym. But instead of heavy key exercises, I perform exercises for balance. The reason why I perform the balance exercise is we tend to neglect uh, to working out the inner muscle fibers since we are only focusing on the big muscle groups and as a lover of martial arts this is a no-go I need to strengthen my body overall as you can see the balance exercises require just a stick or a slack line and is really fun to do and fun is important for the mental rest. And next week, a big hiking program is scheduled. That's why I'm doing the big shopping. Okay, and today's topics are hormones. When I started to lift, I didn't even know much about hormones. But one thing that I learned for sure is that there are three hormones that are really essential while lifting, and that is insulin, then human growth hormone and the next is testosterone all right let's start with insulin insulin controls the liver's production of glucose in the bloodstream that means the more glucose is in the bloodstream the more insulin is there as well to regulate it yeah, and in terms of fitness, insulin figures as a fat burner. Let me show you a scheme. So this is a scheme which I made on my own. And notice in the scheme that the body drains energy. That's normal. In normal terms, the body drains energy from the glucose in the first place. After it hits the glucose, then the body reaches the fat sources. In the middle, you can see kind of an insulin wall. What we basically want is shift down the wall and reach the energy from the fat source and glucose as well. Something like this. And in order to shift that insulin wall, you have to cut down the carbs or cleanse your body 
That's why I'm performing intermittent fasting in the morning to lower the insulin level, to hit the fat source. Okay, and the next hormone is testosterone. Here I prepared a scheme too. Testosterone has an anabolic effect. That means your muscles are growing really rapidly. In order to increase the testosterone, you need to increase sex activity, avoid refined sugar and eat clean instead, clean and raw, and put yourself time and time in a survival mode. What does that mean? Survival mode basically means you stay in a hunger and a fighting appetite to provoke that primal spirit in you, that hunting mode. So that means you either play sports where you want to, where you desire to win or you put yourself in a fasting mode where you really need look to look up for the food that is basically the survival mode okay and the last hormone is the human growth hormone human growth hormone has a anabolic effect as uh, testosterone as well and frankly said i didn't study it as detailed as testosterone and insulin so but but what i basically know is that um, human growth hormone is the highest in the morning where your body uh, where your body reaches the fat source and kind of uh, is set in this little survival mode okay guys that's all in this video what I wanted to say and if you like my videos please make sure to subscribe and if you're interested in my personal development Follow me on Instagram. Peace out.